it's definitely a calling for us to make films that are entertaining, that are emotionally relatable, hopefully no matter what you believe, yeah. but that tell stories of transformation and hope. What are you doing? Do what is this? I, I wrote you some letters. Did you get them? Yeah. Threw them away. Did you read them? Nope. Oh. oh. I thought that's why you came back last night, huh? Oh, I, well. I was just trying to make a memory. That's all. Well, that's kind of hard for me to do, Dad. Because all the memories that we have together are bad. Uh, if you want some, get some ketchup. Well, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it's so interesting. Some siblings can barely get along. <laughs> and yet, here you both are creating incredible films. We, we see, it's yeah. 11 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we haven't gotten in a fight yet. So. Yeah, 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 just we, yet. Yeah. We've worked together since I was 12, and he was 15. Uh, and, you know, it's just been a great partnership, you know? I think film is really collaborative in its nature, and that collaboration starts with Andy and I. And we fight for the right idea. The best idea wins, you know? And uh, it's, it's cool to get to make a film with your brother and then to be surrounded by such an incredible team that can bring, you know, what a magical job we have to, to, to look at a blank piece of paper, to write things down on it, and see those things become real. Uh, it's fun, that, that collaboration starts right here. Mm -hmm. How many times have you guys rock, paper, scissors it out? We, we usually Boy. just pull it, pull, pull it to the <laughs> side and we just kind of, it gets a little heated for about five minutes and then we come back and apologize for that tense moment. So, yeah. you know, we, uh, it's, it, brother, brother teams are always slightly dysfunctional, but what we found is we approach the story from two different perspectives. Yeah. And uh, we can each do the job solo, but we feel like there's a, there's a lot more, uh, there's a lot better ideas when we can kind of collaborate together. So best idea wins. Yeah, we just fight. We fight for the best idea, you know, and, uh, and I think that makes the ideas better. I love it. And you mentioned something about a vision. So when you were envisioning this film, what made you guys pursue having Dennis Quaid play Bart's father in the film? You know, Dennis Quaid, um, I think Andy had the, the first intuition on Dennis. I think he crushes it in this film. I think it's a unique um, performance in his body of work, yeah. the level of humility and authenticity and brokenness. And, uh, and I, when he signed on, he said, I've never played transformation like this on, on screen before, yeah. which is pretty spectacular. But I think Andy had the initial intuition on Dennis. Yeah, when we were talking about about his third or fourth day on set, and I just said, Dennis, you're absolutely killing it in this role. The role is special, man. And he said, I love this character. Arthur's a character that's unique to my body of work. He said, I always play the good guy that gets a little bit better. I've never run the gamut like this of starting so rough and then having such a transformation. He said, as an actor, this is just a real treat. And so, uh, one of my privileges was being able to show him the first cut of the film at his house. And I look back to see how he responded and he just had tears flowing down his face. He said, that's powerful. He said, yeah. that's how God does his miracles the hard way sometimes. He said, I'm all in. So, um, it's been a privilege to have it on board and I couldn't imagine anybody else in this role. Yeah. His role was definitely incredible and it was such a powerful film talking about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed you guys have a connection between a lot of the films that you guys have produced and it's about spirituality and about overcoming obstacles. Yeah. Would you say that it's your calling to produce these kinds of films that are so impactful on people's lives? Yeah, it's definitely a calling for us to make films that are entertaining, that are emotionally relatable, hopefully no matter what you believe, yeah. but that tell stories of transformation and hope and redemption and, redemption and the power of forgiveness. Films that kind of that kind of lift us to, to the people that we aspire to be, yeah. rather than pull us down to the to the people that we that we are trying not to be, um, you know, entertainment that uplifts I think is a powerful thing. I yeah. think the right the right movie is like the right song. If you let it, it'll change your it can change your life. Yeah. You know, and those are the stories that we look for. Um, so yeah, we're we're optimists and uh, and we like to enrich people's lives on screen, and that is a calling. Yeah, every filmmaker is attracted to stories that. Uh, are deeply personal to them. They find themselves in the story and they're able to relate. And so redemption is something that we hold very high, that there's uh, to see the redemption of the human spirit and um, uh, to see transformation like that, I think that it just moves our soul. When it moves our soul, we have to tell that story. And I love one other thing is that 
when you guys focus on this bond of the family mm -hmm. um, and the underlying, like I said, message in this film, how do you guys feel, especially during the time right now, that it's so important to focus on love and forgiveness? Absolutely. Yeah, to me, the theme of this film, uh, as soon as Bart said to me, I watched my dad transform from a monster to the man I wanted to become, to become and to my best friend, and I chose to forgive him, and our relationship was reconciled and healed. That theme that you can change that you can step beyond hatred into forgiveness and forgiveness is powerful, that relationships can reconcile, and the power that reconciliation can bring hope to millions of people, like the song I Can Only Imagine did. That's a theme that we need. We need it right now. Uh, and that, that idea that we are not each other's enemy and that we can reconcile. Yeah. Uh, that is a very, very needed theme in people's lives personally and also just in the state of, of, of affairs today. And, uh, and so that was one of the things where I said, we, we, we got to make this film. Son, I, I know that I, I did some things that i You did also... some things? I got a memory for you, Dad. That night you beat me so badly that I had to sleep on my stomach because I was so bruised. I couldn't move. What was I, 10? 11? Yeah, I remember that. That, uh, that tore me up. I, I cried that all night about what I did to you then. I cried too, Dad. In pain.